Um, I would tell you guys that story. I must have told this story. The time I went to the Montreal Expos game by myself, I was doing this gig in upstate New York, and, um, you know, I was trying to go to all the fucking stadiums. So I was like, all right, well, you know, let's see. Does Montreal, yeah, they got a fucking game. So they had a game the next day. So I went up, I did this gig. I think I did the Lake Ontario Playhouse. I know I've told this story before. But what, maybe I got a few listeners. Maybe from somebody from Chechnya is listening. Maybe somebody from Romania. Um, anyways, so there was a game the next day. So I ended up trying to cross the border into Canada. Uh, this is pre-9-11, by the way. In a very weird spot, by myself. So I get stopped at the border. The guy tell, the guy asked me, he's like, oh, so what are you doing there, fella? It's a Canadian dude. And I said, I'm going to an Expos game. Now the Expos had lost probably about, I don't know, like 120 games at that point during the season. And he goes, oh, you're meeting some friends up there? And I was like, nope, going by myself. He was like, oh, hey, pal, would you mind uh, pulling over right there for a second? So he asked me to pull over. And like two more of these fucking guys come out. And they start ripping apart my car, and they send me inside. And I'm like, what the fuck? Is this some sort of random drug search? And I'm just sitting there watching them, and they're ripping it apart and ripping it apart. And then it fu- suddenly fucking dawns on me. Like, what kind of a fucking loser? I mean, I was like two hours away. I was going to drive two hours out of my way to go up there to go to a Montreal Expos game by myself. This guy could not fathom that any human being, even one that looked like me, would have that much of a pathetic moment in their life. He was convinced I was some sort of drug mule or whatever. I guess drug mules, is that when you have it up your ass? Well, they never check my ass. They just check the fucking car. So it suddenly dawned on me that they thought there was no way that I was that pathetic. But I knew the real answer was, yes, I was that pathetic. So it just struck me as funny. And I started laughing and I couldn't stop. And I remember the cop looking over at me and he saw me laughing. And I think he thought I was laughing like he couldn't find the drugs. So they they were out there for like a fucking half hour. And then once I knew that they thought I had drugs, then I was just kind of acting like a dick. And I had a shitty grin on my face as I came walking up smiling and they, well, the guy was getting mad, like I was smiling, like he didn't find it or whatever. And uh, then I went up there. I went up there, and this fucking French cunt acted like he didn't understand what I said when I asked him to take my picture, because I didn't have anybody to take my picture, because I was by myself. I had one of those disposable cameras. It just, the, the story just keeps getting worse and worse. Um, when I called him a cunt, he laughed and walked away. Um, so, anyways, I was sitting out in like fucking left field. And uh, it was such an old stadium. I don't know, and just under budget. They got socialism up there, you know, and they just don't step on the poor the way we do up here. Um, out in the outfield, your seat only had one armrest. That's what I remember. Even on the left or on the right, I can't remember what. And I was sitting out there, and all the fans were not paying attention to the game. The fans that showed up, and they were just singing, ole, 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 that soccer fucking song. And I was watching, I swear to God, I saw this guy, and I'm like, I watched this guy steal home plate, and I'm way out in left field. So I jumped up. I was like, yeah, when he stole home plate, and nobody else jumped up with me. And it was really quiet in, in the stadium. So then I was like, oh, fuck, maybe that was something else. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a pass ball. Maybe uh, it was a balk. I didn't know what. So I fucking sat back down and felt stupid because everyone was looking at me. And then later on that night, I was back at the fucking hotel and I was watching TSN, that's their ESPN up there, and they're like, they're like, oh, here's something you don't see every day, and they showed a guy stealing home plate. And I was like, I fucking knew it! You know, that's my expo story. Not riveting, but not boring. 